Okay, y'all, there's sort of a little sprinkling or a little rain, right? Not very much, but in turn, I decided to just sit my device here um, at this patio table that's outside. And this is my first time doing a video here. Um, so it's a, a very unique experience because I'm covered, I'm sitting at a table, I'm not doing my walk to do the video. So, however, this video is going to be about one tactic that you can use or try that will repel a lot of narcissists and sociopaths. And it's a very simple tactic that I use unconsciously and consciously because I have seen the results that can come from it. So remember, I'm about real examples, right? So it's a simple thing. Call someone Miss or Mister, okay? Miss Sarah, Mr. Benjamin, whatever their name is, address them by Miss or Mister. Especially when it's someone new in your life that you met in the community. And it's really a great idea to have a community name like um, Miss Irene, something to that degree, right? So what that does is, it's kind of like a uniform, right? So a title can also display to a certain degree how long this person has known you. So like for example, if someone knows me by my childhood nickname and they call me that and I'm in my hometown and I look back and they're saying, Rainy, Rainy, or if your nickname was Mimi, Mimi, whatever they call you, right? Then you know that that person has known you since you were a child or a baby, okay? So doing this, what it also does with the Miss and Mister, I'm gonna get back to that. Their response to you will be a telltale sign or of who and what you're dealing with. So for example, I'm gonna use this example first, okay? So you call someone Miss Sarah, right? And you consistently refer to this person as Miss Sarah. If they're a person that's in a power and control position, right? Or that's how they take their dominance to use it as disrespect, right? They'll do something like this. They may not even refer to you by your name, right? So not only will they not treat you the way you're treating them, they may not even refer to you by your name at all. So while you're calling them Miss Sarah or Mr. Benjamin, they're not even asking you what your name is and what title you would like to use or just automatically knowing to address you the way you're addressing them, okay? So what this tells you is this is a person that does not really care or is thoughtful enough to respect me in the same way that I'm respecting them, okay? Another example, which would be number two that I'm gonna use is someone that's new in your life calling you by a nickname that's very popular at the time. It's a slang, it's a, it's a nickname that a lot of women or men are being called, whether it be mama, boo, baby, whatever the going trend is. Um, sweetheart, whatever, I mean, well, sweetheart, I mean, I don't know. Let's exclude that one, okay? Um, just whatever the trend is that's going on, a nickname where people are dating one another, right? And so, for example, if they say mama, they continue to call you mama or boo or whatever after you have 
won't no they're not gonna continue to call you you they're calling you that after you have addressed yourself as something else so i have addressed myself as miss irene right but even though i address myself that way in person and in a text message they're going to still say mama and then you may have to say you know um you can address me as miss irene and, and that's another thing correct the way you're being addressed especially if this is a person that you're going to continue to communicate with because the way they respond to that will let you know what kind of person you're dealing with so if they say okay i'm sorry or whatever and they start addressing you by your name now sometimes if they have a power and control issue they will within maybe two or three days accidentally call you mama which was the nickname that you asked them not to call you and sometimes they would do it on purpose to annoy you but sometimes it's not on purpose it's a sign that they're calling everybody that in their life or if she's using a nickname that a lot of women nowadays are using for men and you've asked her to call you Ricky or whatever your name is and she decides to continue to use this nickname on you or when she addresses you that's a sign that basically she's calling everybody that so this can tell you that this person is dealing with other people either intimately or they're trying to lure other people in so basically this is a sign that this is someone that is actively pursuing supply sources okay and you know supply sources are people y'all so using this name game thing with narcissists that's what i'm going to call this video the name game thing with narcissists you can avoid and protect yourself from a lot of narcissists and sociopaths just by deciding as of today i'm mr henderson or to make it more comfortable normally the mr or mrs or the mr or miss or mrs if you want to use that title also when you use those titles in that way add your first name to it so it's not over formal okay so if your last name is henderson instead of saying mr henderson if your first name is bill just say i'm mr bill so see that's a more relaxed way of getting the respect that you deserve along with making it still comfortable and it doesn't feel too over professional if that makes sense so use the title miss mr or mrs but use your first name instead of your last name and you will find out a lot by doing this i mean you can unconsciously test people because the main thing when someone is new in your life and they're not respecting you and they can't respect your title and believe it or not i mean you may call this old school but when you just meet somebody and they are giving you a title that you can look up on the urban dictionary as a slang word even if it's not considered a super bad slang word that person is already devaluing you it's kind of like when the man or woman that you first hook up with automatically start calling you baby you ain't they baby okay and so in many cases it actually is devaluation because it takes power from who you are and what your title should be and is if that makes sense so work on this because i've had a lot of good luck with this y'all a lot a lot of good luck okay i have friends from high school 
that still address me miss and they use my maiden name okay so you'll be surprised how doing this and getting back to basics can create a lot of good blessings for you and you will have many people in the community from your high school grade schools ex-co-workers that will have a lot of respect for you okay and it will make your family respect you too if you have children and they hear your friends and community leaders and people in the community saying hey mr sammy hey miss betty hey miss tiana your kids are going to gain respect for you too so just try this and remember i'm going to add this as i end this calling you by anything other than the name the lord blessed you with when someone is first meeting you especially is a devaluation of you and they're taking who you are immediately away from you and so this is a tip to help you better your relationships and repel a lot of narcissists and sociopaths and the reason i say it's going to repel them y'all because narcissists and sociopaths are going to struggle with respecting you for very very long okay and they're not gonna like it they are just not gonna like it it's gonna annoy them and it may make them misbehave with you sooner which is what you want because you want to exit that friendship asap as soon as possible you don't want to continue a friendship with someone like that so yeah i just wanted to add this it's just something that um has worked for me for many many years and it can work for you if you know about it and it's just automatic respect i'm mr i'm miss or mr such and such okay and remember add your first name to it you want to make it a not so so formal but formal enough okay so anyway it is pouring down raining y'all i don't know if y'all could see this let me show you this so see this rain i don't know if you could see it but i'm so thankful that i didn't start the video um too too soon because or or prior to this because yeah i'm thankful that i sat over here because one thing i don't want is water in this device so anyway please like share and subscribe and i hope this helps you so so much and so i'm going to be coming on giving you more tips that i have personally used or seen other people use that have even helped me respect them more okay so anyway thank you so so much please like share and subscribe bye